Alright, as you know, my name is Kainton and today we are going to continue with tutorial 2 on the Flow Networks uh, lessons. So, today's class we are going to cover flows and capacities, conservation laws, cycles, maximizing the flow and maximum flow. So, uh, we are going to explain it in very clear terms. So, I want to make sure you understand this tutorial very, very well from beginning to end. So for now, you know what capacity is, you know what uh, a flow graph is, and you also, if a flow network, you know what it is, you know what uh, edges is, vertices, and you know what capacity is. Today we are going to talk about flow. Alright, so the question is, what is a flow? So this is the same graph we were working with uh, in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to put back the the capacities uh, into this network and then after which I'll talk about the flow. So normally let me change my color to black. So we have here I, I have three and you know what capacity is is a maximum uh, amount of data as it were uh, maybe data or something else that can pass through this network. So this is two, this is three this is 3 and this is 1 this is 3 and this is uh, 2 am I missing out anything? no alright so this is capacity of this network now one thing about capacity is that it is fixed capacity is uh, fixed is uh, fixed So you can't actually change the capacities. So the flow represents the actual the flow is the actual amount that passes through the network. Flow actual. So if you have a four lane uh, highway, that is uh, a flow. That is a capacity four four lane, meaning the four cars can pass through this uh, this highway or this um, expressway or, or something like that four cars can pass through this this road side by side but the actual number of cars passing through in this uh, highway at a given time might be two or might be three interestingly five cars cannot pass through this uh, network cannot pass through the road if the capacity is four so that brings us to the first uh, thing you need to know flow must always be either less than or equal to capacity. So I'm going to write it out because it's something you need to bear in mind. Flow is either less than or equal to what? Capacity. So bear that in mind. Flow will be either less than or equal to capacity. So let's put in certain flows in this. That will help us now talk about conservation law. I'm going to change the color to red. So sometimes it is written uh, uh, like this, 3 slash 2. Sometimes it's written 3, 2. And this one represents flow. Sorry, it has to be 2, 3 because the flow always comes first. This one represents flow. And the second number represents capacity. In case you see, it's in the, in the textbook. All right, so let me use a slash in, in my case. So one slash three. So one is the flow. Three is the capacity. Here is a, let's say two slash two. Here let's say one slash three. Here let's say two. And here let's say one slash one, two slash three. Here let's say one slash three. And here let's say 2 slash 3 and here let's say 1 slash 2 now let's now take the next part now you know what flow and capacity is conservation law simply states that the, the, the total number of flow into a node is equal to the total number of flow outside going out of a node this applies to both flow and capacity. So let's look at node A. 
total number of flow coming in is 1 plus 1, right? Total number of flow going out is 2 plus 2, right? If we look at B, we have going out, we have uh, 1, we have 2, that is 3. Coming in, we have 2, 1, and that is 3. So that is the law of conservation. This law also says the total number of flow coming out from the sink should be equal to the total number of flow going coming out from the source should be equal to the total going into the 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 sink. So here we have three coming out from the source, and here we have how many three going into the sink, right? So this is two conservation laws. It applies to the edge. It also applies to the network as a whole. Let's now talk about cycles. Cycles are set of edges that actually is in a cycle. So that is just the way it is. So we have something like this. So from D to C to B, D to C to B, and to D. So this is a cycle. There's something interesting about the cycle. You can actually uh, adjust the the you can adjust the the flow in a cycle and still uh, conserve and still uh, obey these laws. So, for instance, if we have let's say we set this to zero, we set this to zero, we set this to zero, and we set this to one. What happens is in a cycle. I subtract 1 from all the edges. So when we talk about maximization, you may this uh, technique might come in handy at a later time. So I've subtracted 0, subtract 0, and subtract 1. So at this point, let's see if the laws are obeyed. So in, in C, we have coming in, we have 1 coming in to C, right? And 0 coming in. So 1 coming in, 1 going out, as you can see. Alright? So, also in D we have 2 two coming in, right? And how many going out? 2. So the law is also obeyed in this case. So that is one thing you know about cycles, you know about conservation law. And now let's talk about maximizing the flow. When you talk about maximizing the flow, we are talking about maximizing the flow through the network. And the flow through the network, uh, flow through the network, is the flow, total flow coming out from the source. In this case, is how many? It is three. Three. Meanwhile, the capacity is what? Is five. What it means is that we are not using the, the network is not operating to the capacity. So it means that let's say we increase uh, this to two. Now we are trying to maximize the flow. If we increase this to two, right? Now let's see if some laws have been violated. We have two plus one here going into this place is 3 uh, so it means we have a problem so we have 3 going into this place and 2 coming out so that means a problem so it means we can actually change this to to what? to 0 if we change it to 0 what happens? we have 2 going in 2 going out perfect we have here 2 going in how many going out? Uh, uh, how many going out? We have one, and then we have nothing. So we can change back this to the way it was before. We can change this to to we have two going in, and then we have zero coming in. Okay, one going out, so we can change this to two. So two going in, two going out. So the network is stable. So we've maximized the flow at this point. The flow is what? Is 4 and this is maximum flow
But what we've done now is somehow kind of makeshift because actually uh, we have a technique for maximizing the flow. You may also ask, the capacity is 5, is it not possible to have the network uh, at maximum capacity? Uh, in this case, the answer is no. Uh, if you try that, you are going to violate the law of conservation, right? So, uh, we have talked about maximizing the flow, we've talked about maximum flow. So, maximum flow through this network is what? It is a, it's 4. So, we can't make it 5. So, what I want you to do, take time to get your head around all of this, uh, understand flow and capacities, conservation laws, cycles, maximizing the flow, and maximum flow. I'm going to stop here and then we'll see in the next tutorial, maybe we can start talking about uh, an algorithm to, uh, to maximize flow through a network. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to click on subscribe button so that you get notified when I make the next lesson.